Hello YouTube and welcome back to We Are Dead. Like many of you, I was uh, looking forward to this title which has been hyped since uh, last year and is now available on, in early access on Steam. Yes, you've guessed it, I'm talking about Veil VR. So I finally had the opportunity to try it out and see if actually this game lives up to the expectations. Or if it is another overhyped title, I'm not gonna make names. Uh, that certainly wasn't me. If you want to know what I liked and didn't like of this game, just stick with me and enjoy this video. So let's go straight to the point. I cut all my blubbering here at the beginning of the video, but uh, what's Veil? It's a first person shooter in VR. What did I do in this video is basically compare it to the most popular first person shooter that are currently available, Contractors and Pavlov. I was immediately impressed by the quality of the weapon handling and uh, the reflection in the sight, so that was something that I like. You know, I started playing around uh, with the weapons and I loved the fact I could launch in the air the, the rifles and pick it up again, that was crazy. And I spent quite a bit of time in uh, reloading the weapon because the reload animation was so very well done. That's pretty cool. Something that Contractor doesn't have. Look at that. Yeah. Very satisfying. What was a little bit uh, disappointing was the fact that I couldn't remove the attachments and uh, also the reload animations of the bullets inside the chamber that I think uh, could be improved uh, because there are other shooters that do better. Pablo. Who's that? Who, who's doing this? Anyhow, I was so upset about that that I tried to kill this teddy bear without success. But anyway, the positive thing was this water with liquid, which is uh, was interesting but disappointing that when I throw it again on the floor it didn't break. But anyway, at least when you shoot at them they explode. So that's that. Another thing that it's nice to have, but that recently I'm seeing less and less in shooters, is the ability of bullets to penetrate the different materials. And uh, in this case I found out that if I shoot this bag of food, the bullet goes out from the other side, which is, uh, you know, a nice thing to have. Pretty cool. You know, and if you fancy, you can even show off your drawing skills to the other players. Perfection. This is the player customization. Well, I was a little bit disappointed when I found out that I couldn't choose any skin or any personalization. I couldn't customize my character at all. You can buy a skin if you want to as a DLC, which to be honest gives me a little bit of a red flag here in terms of the future intentions of the developers who may go down that road which I personally don't like at all. Talking about weapons, what I found the most frustrating was uh, uh, reloading sometimes and uh, uh, putting the bullet in the chamber again after reloading. There is much space for improvement there. Recoil control was a little bit difficult for certain weapons. Not very clear what the recoil pattern is. But to be completely honest, I didn't try the weapons in depth, so I can't really give you an informed opinion on those. I would like to know from you, so just leave a comment below about it. One thing that I didn't really like was a complete lack of tutorial. You know, I found this thing that I was keeping in my hand. I didn't know what to do with it. What, what, what was it? I discovered it later what was it while playing another game. But uh, yeah, when I tried the game the first time, there was no indication of what I was supposed to do. The option menu was a little bit uh, confusing. It would be certainly really helpful if they could add an explanation for each option. I spent quite a lot of time trying to understand what the effect of each option was, so that wasn't nice. And please, let me filter the servers by game mode, by ping. Come on, Pavlov does that, you can do that as well. However, to be fair, uh, Veil gives you a little bit more information compared to Contractors, for example. 
at least you know if you're lagging or not, so that's pretty good. I did like it in Vale. Gameplay wise, well, I played the team that match and uh, kind of a seek and destroy. And to be completely brutal with it, there was absolutely nothing new. I mean, after all the mod frenzy that uh, we are having in Contractors uh, now, probably playing a simple standard that match uh, is uh, what people look for. So yeah, that's that. I was expecting the game to be a little bit more tactical, like Onward, but it wasn't the case. And that it's uh, a little bit unfortunate, I think. Movement felt a little bit sluggish, and as I said before, Reloading was a little bit of a frustration. There wasn't much variety of the maps. Uh, the walls I played were all, almost uh, always the same in Team that match. But I guess, you know, maps will come later on as the game develops. So I don't take that as a negative point in reality. Why would you test that on me? Uh, I don't know, just testing. <laughs> In the two hours I played, you know, I can't really say I didn't have fun. Yes, I did have fun. Spending time with people and killing each other randomly was quite fun. It was like that in Contractors before, but that was eliminated for some reason. It can be frustrating though, because it depends on the people whether, you know, they want to kill you without uh, giving you time to respawn or do anything else. So, experience may vary. I even managed to play a round of uh, four in a row without being disturbed. It was actually quite fun because the loser was executed and the loser was me. Some people more ambitious than me, they even tried to play chess. So yes, you can make your own fun. But if you ask me the question, would you recommend this game? Well, if you want to do team that match and uh, search and destroy and uh, uh, capture the flag, then yes, why not? If you're looking for the ultimate uh, VR shooter, well, in that case, I'm afraid that's not the case. I will check this game out uh, uh, again in a couple of years time and see how did it go. But uh, for me, uh, it's not a game that I would spend evenings on. Like I did when I continue to do with uh, Pavlov and Contractors. So I want to be very clear, I do not hate this game at all. I think it's uh, very valid. But in my view, has been a little Whoa, bit overhyped. And with this, I think I said everything I wanted to say about this game. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you didn't like it, please let me know why in the comment below. I wish you all happy gaming and see you next time.